Good morning. My name is Ruben Rodriguez. I'm here today at the Timbuktu campus in uh, Gardena, California, where I plan to show you, or I want to show you, the Symphony 458 25 horsepower truck mounted unit made by Timbuktu. Uh, this machine is uh, pretty, pretty simple to use. It's pretty easy to use, very user friendly. Uh, we have a couple things here that we think is if you follow these directions, if you follow this, well, our guidelines, we think you get efficient, maximum, good cleaning results out of your car. The first thing I want to show you that hooks up to the front panel is a hose for your vacuum intake. It simply goes right there. This reduces down, and you can use your wand that hooks up right here. This is a 3000 PSI valve wand. Uh, auto seal. Uh, this has got uh, a product on here. It's, it's a rotational plastic. This wand head by itself will last you five years guaranteed. Uh, this is a double jetted wand. Uh, the slide here is made for people of different heights. So if you get a guy my height, or you get somebody shorter or somebody taller, this wand will always be at the right height. If you use uh, another kind of wand, a kind that does not adjust, you have to have the right height adjustment all the time, and that's almost an impossibility. This, what we think, will produce efficient cleaning and maximum cleaning out of your machine. The machine to work needs water. The water comes from an outside source. So you can bring that water from the outside into your machine, okay? And that hooks up right here. Once you hook that up, once you hook the water in here, the water out here, here, connects right here. And that's this hose right here. That guy goes right here. That other side hooks up again to your one. The one hookup is right here. Now you have water coming from the outside source to your machine, and you have water coming from the machine to your one. And that's what you need to have to, to run this machine. So starting from the top, which we just showed you, the vacuum hose, starting from the top, these two here are the throttle and the choke. The throttle here will tell you what your running speed is on the gauge that's in front of the machine. Get it to the right RPM, then that's what we, and we recommend between 22 and 2500. Then again, now you're working at efficient uh, uh, RPM and your machine will run well and clean well. The other one is the choke, which is made primarily for use in cold weather situations, whether it be up in the mountains or overnight somewhere or wherever you're at. If you need a little help starting your engine, that's what this guy is here for right here. This is your ignition switch. Uh, you just turn it on, you crank it over to start the machine. And speaking of that, to start a machine, you need a gas um, source and you need a battery source. If you are going to have us install this, this uh, truck mount into your van, into your truck, into your trailer, we need to know what, what we're doing to begin with before we even get started. The reason being is if we're working off your truck or your van, this machine will simply hook up to your internal hookups to your, to your truck or van. By that I mean we use your gas tank to feed this machine, we use your battery to start this machine. If you're working out of a trailer, we then we need to do this externally, just the way we have it right here. An external gas tank, an external battery to feed and to start your truck mounted machine. The next item or unit that we're going to look at is a PSI gauge. PSI gauge is the amount of water pressure you got coming down into your car. Again, we recommend uh, between three and 400 uh, as a good, efficient uh, PSI. And the way to adjust that is with your PSI regulator right here. There is a manner in doing that. The way to do that is you've got to uh, open up the valve here to be able to adjust here to give you a reading here. If you do all those things in succession the way I just suggested here, you, you will be able to tell exactly what your PSI is. The next guy here is your electric clutch, allows your, uh, your machine to perform efficiently. And then this here is a very, very important gauge, is your heater, uh, your heat gauge. You turn this gauge here to tell you what temperature you want on the carpet. We recommend between 140 and 170, uh, and, and you set it for that temperature. This display right over the top of that gauge is the actual temperature that your machine is, is uh, running at. Now, realizing that, that you may not always be running this one at, at the best speeds, sometimes you need to pick it up, sometimes you need to slow it down, just to make sure that you're not working too fast or too slow. If you're working too slow, the machine will continue to produce hot water. 
you can make an adjustment, uh, and, and as a result, it will start bypassing this hot water. You can make an adjustment here on the, on the uh, valve of the machine to adjust your temperature to make sure you're always working efficiently. This is the same thing as coming back to the machine and adjusting the temperature here. The reason we do it here is because you, if you're a one-man show or whatever, you, you might not always want to go back to the machine, back and forth, back and forth. Now you, we've made that so you can make the adjustment here, and it's a whole lot better for you, less back and forth for you on the truck. The, the last couple items are that there's two exhaust ports here and here, and this is your dirty water dump out. The dirty water dump out is connected by two to the tank in the back. That's an 80 gallon stainless steel tank that we manufactured here at Timbuktu. This dirty water dump out, they put a hose here on this hookup, on this valve, and that goes out to wherever you want it to go, the, the uh, toilet or a drain or whatever you got. And it's, con it's uh, produced by pulling on the top of this dump out valve here. We like to make it easy, make, make sure you can get to it real easy. When it's in your truck, your van, you don't want it to go around different things, it's right here. The last item on the, on the front panel is your chemical feed line. Most manufacturers will recommend on their container. Uh, what they recommend is, is, is the most efficient use of their product was whatever machine you're using, whether that be one ounce to a gallon or two ounces to a gallon. You would simply insert this into the gallon jug, insert this into the container that, that is holding your product, and then you would adjust the chemical feed right here to the, whatever the manufacturer said. One ounce, two ounce, three ounce, whatever it might be. And that way you can make sure that you're efficiently using the chemical feed line that's produced right here, or that's given to you right here by the company. Um, and pretty much that's, that's uh, what we have here for the front panel. In the back here is your gas hookup that feeds right directly to your, uh, your gas, that's your gas line to feed to your gas tank. Uh, so pretty much that's it. That's, that's a front panel of a S458 uh, Symphony truck mount unit, 25 horsepower, made by Timbuktu Manufacturing.